Hi, I'm Lawrence and I'm autistic. I've got Asperger's syndrome. This morning when I got up, I turned on the television to come into a, a conversation the news team were having with a police officer. The subject was alcohol, driving and young people. Anyway, the idea was just, just to promote how careful young people have to be. This means they've got to be extra vigilant and disciplined when it comes to drinking and driving. Just like all of us who are autistic, who are on this spectrum, each of us are different. Each of us are going to be able to handle our disability differently. Now, particularly this week in England, there's been a lot of emphasis on trying to prevent binge drinking by imposing new rules and regulations for supermarkets. Actually, it's going to increase the cost of alcohol. But the idea is to cut down on perhaps fatalities and general accidents. Anyway, let me tell you a little bit about my own history with driving and alcohol. Fortunately, I had little of a relationship with alcohol. Even now, I'm pretty much a teetotaler. However, when I first drove at 17 years old, I passed my car in five months. I owned a car a week later. A week after owning my car in one day, I had three accidents. The weather at the time was the end of November. The roads were icy. I didn't really know how to handle my Volvo. Yes, I was very lucky. I was driving a tank. Anyway, yes, I was lucky. I only hit a parked car and gently damaged the bumper, gently damaged my bumper. A little later in the day, I hit a lamppost, did similar damage. At another time, I almost hit a bus. Thought nothing of it. Didn't think very much of it the following year. When I was done for speeding, thing, I got, I would have got, nine points on my license in one day. Instead, I got three warnings. I was very lucky. But of course, back then, when I was 17, 18, 19 years old, I didn't know anything about autism. Of course, no one did, or very few professionals did. So, I didn't know that I would be diagnosed 30 years later with Asperger syndrome, ADHD, and other motor issues. What does this mean to a young person who has similar diagnosis? Perhaps just Asperger syndrome, perhaps just OCD or ADHD. It means that they think differently from neurotypicals. It means they have to be extra careful, more disciplined, more vigilant on what they're doing and be aware that particularly drinking alcohol can be very detrimental and could easily cause them to be more prone to accidents than neurotypicals. Now, just to let you know, a few years ago I was at a major national health Autistic Society Conference in Hammersmith and my parents lived in Finchley. It was about a 10 mile cycle. At the end of the uh, first day, in fact, sorry, last day, they were serving up champagne. I drank six glasses, thought nothing of it. How was I getting home? I was cycling. Little did I know that my licence, that is my driving licence, could be taken away from me, that I could have been done by the police so they'd stopped me for drinking and cycling. 
Don't think for one moment because you seem fine behind a wheel. Being autistic might mean that you're oversensitive to the alcohol. It might mean you may think you can do something, but in fact your reaction time is a lot slower. Anyway, I'm hoping parents and teachers are watching my video and I just encourage you to try and help your children or those with autism you care about and just let them know the dangers of driving under the influence of alcohol, especially if you have been labelled like me with autism.